Hello, Trabant. Hello, Tito. Wow, what can you see here? Looks like a meteorite hit a city in China. Wow, Big this, explosion. Yeah, we can see uh, this is from the BBC News. I think this was captured by uh, some foreigners who I guess were uh, not far away from the Tianjin explosion. Uh, okay. This happened uh, a few years ago, but let's have a look at this because this was mm -hmm. kind of shocking. Uh -huh. right. Whoa. You can see some bleeping out of the expletives of the people who are filming it. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. They're thinking it might be a gas station, but now there's a much larger explosion. Wow, you can see. And you can uh, wow. hear a shockwave. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's a hell on earth. <laughs> yes, I mean, you wake up to or you see something like this in the evening and. Oh my god! Imagine. This is frightening. Horrifying. Shit, another one. And now you can hear the the shockwave coming in again. Let's go. Let's go so let's go. Try trying to <laughs> get out of the building. So <laughs> um, uh, this was uh, an uh, explosion of uh, certain flammable <laughs> chemicals in the engine. Uh -huh. Here we can see uh, the aftermath of the explosion. It was on August uh, 12th, I think, in the year 2015. And here we mm -hmm. see the the aftermath. Here we uh -huh. see the uh, um, a picture from uh, May, a satellite image from 12th of uh, Zhuihai Logistics <laughs> Warehouse. And here we see uh, the Zhuihai Logistics <laughs> Warehouse on fire after wow. the explosion it was burning for 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 days after that yeah. well so the city is tianjin which is like 150 kilometers east of beijing let's uh, let's have a look yeah you can see it uh -huh. here colored in red just like beijing chongqing and shanghai so it shows that right. it's a municipality it is uh directly controlled area i think it was you know uh it might have been uh the capital of herbei province at some point then it was mm -hmm. carved out and given its own special status but still kind of being overshadowed by uh, beijing right next to it yeah it was a terrible terrible industrial disaster and that happened as you said in uh, ruhai uh, uh logistics warehouses international logistic warehouses and uh, it, there were two explosions the first one the first explosion was equivalent to the power of three tons of TNT detonating and the second one was equivalent to 21 tons of TNT wow. detonating <laughs> so and th this this will well uh, we can see the car depots here Let's see what they what they look like afterwards. <laughs> we can see the wow. cars here, and we can but see the buildings. It's uh, like the they, like the area was bombed. Burnt. Yeah, it was yeah. fire destroyed by the fire. Here is there another were... another characteristic image. Yeah, here we see the crater wow. left after the explosion. Yeah, the volcano. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if there's another one. Okay, yeah, here is a uh, you know another picture of uh, the cars, <laughs> and uh, yeah, picture from a little yeah. further away. You can see uh, <clears throat> you know the cargo boxes being kind of smashed mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. There was a weapon late at night, and it shattered windows and tore 
facades of buildings for wow. miles and miles around and the debris was flying through the air like a heavy steel canisters and yeah many buildings were damaged or, and the apartments were unlivable I think even the um, not the subway line but the uh, Qingwei line the light rail line that connects uh, the two parts of the city was uh, damaged or was not working uh, or at least not stopping around that area for a while afterwards no, I, I believe that nobody would want anybody to go there and take pictures of it, you know, yes, because like in China... that's also another point. Every disaster is, is, is covered and, uh, you know, and uh, the damage or the life losses are like uh, censored, you know. Mm -hmm. Here we can see uh, another bird's eye view of the crater and... Uh, yeah, the uh, surrounding areas. You can see how messed up the area is. Uh, yeah. So what so happened said, in, uh, yeah, in what this happened? explosion? Um, well, someone was supposed to dispose of some chemicals, right? But instead of, you know, disposing it uh, as they <laughs> should have, which is probably more costly, they uh, essentially kept them in a warehouse somewhere. You know, because I mean, this is cheaper. You know, and they were hoping, yeah, it's going to be fine, you know, which it was mm. until this happened, obviously, until uh, there was some chemical reaction that <laughs> that mm -hmm. caused the chemicals to blow up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awful, awful. There, uh, Here we yeah. see a, a um, fire truck <laughs> that was mm -hmm. somewhere in the area. Might have been called to the rescue. Here we actually see the firefighters who died in the accident. Yeah, it's interesting. They they interesting. seem to be wearing uniforms, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. that's because uh, the fire department is attached to the police department in China. Yeah, it said that uh, the after the the count of the of the of the uh, life losses was uh, came to number 173 and more than 100 of them were police officers well first of all firefighters and maybe 40 officers police officers so seems like officially only three, 30 civilians died in this uh, blast why, why, why would I? What, I, am, I understand why there might be firefighters, but why would there be police officers involved there as well? I mean, obviously they might be helping, right? That must be the reason. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> they were probably. It makes sense that they were called after the blast and they died while rescuing or I don't know, putting putting off the fire. I don't think the firefighters were stationed there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, no, they died in the blast. It's, it's still, yeah, <laughs> it's still <Yeah>. messed up. <laughs> Look, 700 tons of highly toxic sodium cyanide. Yeah. So and and they weren't informed. The people said that they didn't know there was there was, there was any any uh, danger like this when they were uh, they weren't going uh, when they were caught and started uh, the rescue yeah well wh how how would they know you know the uh it was not supposed to be there in the first place but you know how it is in china nobody tells you anything they that's just, that's also a, 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 a good point yes um, because you don't need to know right yeah and uh, maybe they even didn't know i uh, who knows yeah, I, I would. I, if they're not supposed to, you know, have chemicals there, then why would they uh, suspect that? Yeah, and again, this disaster because of the corruption and government uh, efficiency. So, and uh, <laughs> yes, in quotation marks. So, yeah, like you said, an entirely avoidable tragedy. You know, if uh, you know someone was not trying to cut corners and was. Mm -hmm. 
you know uh, whether uh, if if this person had made sure if the company had made sure that uh, explosive material would have been disposed of properly right so mm-hmm. obviously mm-hmm. Uh, you know heads rolled afterwards here we see about 49 people were uh, arrested and tried here we can see yeah mm-hmm. they're bowing down here they're being led by by the police if you uh, mm-hmm. take a look you can see this is probably the is highest ranking thing. police uh <laughs> The chairman of Rui Hai Logistics, uh, Yu Xuewei, mm-hmm. he was sentenced to death with uh, two years uh, reprieve. They, yeah, they have a re- they have a reprieve. So the, that sentences are usually not carried out. So if they behave because after in two years, it gets commuted to a life sentence, right? A life sentence. He's serving life sentence right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so apparently. Uh, Right after this, professional social media reports that were censored by Chinese authorities. Uh, anybody was reporting, they were asked for deletion of their posts. Uh, words like, like, like Tianjin, or word like explosion were censored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even Tianjin, the name of the city, was censored. Oh, so if you're going to Tianjin, yeah. I guess you're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they said the firefighters. The firefighters were saying that uh, they were on the front line. They uh, they they hadn't been informed of the dangerous chemicals on the site. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the chemicals would react exothermically when mixed with water. Yeah, this is obviously a yeah big problem when uh, you're supposed to know what uh, you can use to put out a fire. Yeah, deadly sodium cyanide. Uh, was uh, was in the water mm-hmm. or uh, the place. Uh, the Cyberspace Administration of China banned all journalists from posting to social media. They were shutting down websites, uh, arresting people for spreading false information. Uh, information. They say uh, more like 360 people were punished according to the laws for spreading false rumors mm-hmm. oh see. the typical wow typical. typical why do you think that's the case though i mean you know this is an accident surely people you know must know about it you know, the 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 more you know and the sooner the better right <laughs> yeah i don't i don't think the ccp cares about this publicity or no, so they censor obvi- obviously or they they do not because it makes the city look bad you know and Tianjin is a municipality and then it makes the entire country look bad you know how could you <laughs> let this happen right next to Beijing it says something about the incompetence of the of authorities yes which right. is shocking the incompetent people running the whole country their government is unable to prevent any disasters so it's a reactionary government that always reacts not to prevent and they cover all the truth and another reason is uh, the government government's disregards for human lives which is appalling yeah yeah it sadly is yeah Imagine the people who lost their loved ones and they, they, they cannot even say that they died or how they died. So so it's no respect no respect for, for the for the dead ones. Yeah, I mean Basically. you know <laughs> where can we find a, a demonstration of this? If you look at the uh, COVID statistics from China, then oh, yeah. uh, Right, you can see the numbers are uh, very low, right? Compared to this is a typical example. Other parts typical of the example world. Yeah. How China lies about everything, everything, until until like 2021 official number, the people that died of COVID was like 4,800 or something. Let's see, we can see a little bit more down here. 
can see yeah. a linear case here, but here you can see the daily new cases. You can see, you know, the maximum uh, in uh, 2020 and again in 2023 was about uh, 14,000 uh, uh, something daily, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 especially comical in uh, 2023 when the virus was uh, spreading like wildfire. I mean, you know, we know how quickly COVID spread, and in a country of one, uh, oh, oh, you know, a, a lot more than uh, a billion people, uh, of which a large amount live in uh, relatively concentrated areas. <laughs> yes. So this uh, is an assault on math and logic, you know, to publish statistics yeah. like this. Yeah, in my opinion, Chinese, also Chinese uh, people are not very healthy. You know, they look like they exercise or they are quite, uh, the obesity is on the rise, I would say. So. Yeah. How is it Depends possible? Whom, yeah. Only, yeah. only one country, and the country where the COVID started, and for three weeks, three weeks they they were covering covering the outbreak of this new disease so of this new virus. Rising anymore? Why the virus was spreading? Seems like they stopped. It, they stopped counting here. <laughs> yeah. Gave up entirely. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. So, who because would the, believe these numbers? The, yeah, the, the, Chinese there wouldn't be a point anymore because before that, the point was, you know, to show how few COVID cases China has because that makes China look good, you know. When it's the opposite anymore, I mean, what's the point? This is typical example, like it uh, always backfires. This one backfired right in, in the face of the Chinese government. They were, even the Chinese people don't believe these numbers. I mean, if, if anybody I talked to, they were saying like, yeah, I had somebody who died and I know somebody who died. And yeah, of course he died of COVID, but uh, officially in the paper, they wrote like, I don't know, cancer, pneumonia, or whatever. Just not COVID. Everybody knows that. Point is, you know, when uh, when the government tries to avoid embarrassment at all costs, it starts to look comical. Right? Yeah. Very so comical. you know, at, at some point, you're supposed to admit that something has happened, take some yeah. lessons from it, and move on, right? But as we yeah. see, you know, uh, this kind of a Tianjin disaster, you know, this is not. Uh, yeah, it looks shocking, but unfortunately, it's not isolated in uh, no. China. What else can we talk about? Yeah, just 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 one more thing about this uh, explosion in Tianjin in 2015. There were 17,000 people who lived near the expo exploded warehouse. Mm -hmm. And and uh, in the end, there were 500 people missing who were never found. But officially, officially only 173 people died and eight people were missing. How is that possible? It's a mystery. Yeah. Nonsense. Bullshit. No? <laughs> it's obvious that there is, you know, some something lost in the accounting there. No. No, no, no. Yeah, talk about another one. Because China is a, unfortunately a country of uh, disasters and uh, not only natural disasters, but also for, like man-made disasters. It's a very good point. Well, I mean, let's let's look at uh, you know if we're talking about natural disasters, let us have a look at the uh, floods that happened in uh, Zhengzhou, in the uh, oh, yeah. capital city of uh, Henan Province. You can see it uh, here. Yeah.